in 2016, I was a bit of a mess. I was divorced, depressed, broke, and I had to downsize house. But what I did was used exercise to beat my depression and transform my body. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you my story. Hello fam, and welcome to my channel. My name's Melissa Neal, and this channel is all about helping you if you're a woman over 40, or like me, over 50, get in amazing shape. And in this video, I want to inspire you that everyone can do this. You don't have to have a fantastic background. And in fact, I came from a pretty miserable place to transform my whole body and therefore my life. And I'm really not overplaying it when I say back in 2014, as early as 2014, things were starting to go wrong for me. My marriage was in crisis and I was actually going through a marriage breakdown after 25 years in a relationship. 15 of those years were married. You know, I went into a really deep depression, crying almost every single day. A friend turned around to me and she said, Melissa, if you're going to kind of get yourself out of this, please do not use antidepressant drugs because she told me that she's actually got some advice from a medical professional who said, if you go down that route, you're just going to get hooked and it's going to be really hard to come off. And it actually doesn't resolve the underlying problems. And and I knew I tried counseling before and therapy and that actually hadn't worked for me either so I needed to find something else and what I had just found with the mums believe it or not on the school run was something called CrossFit so it was nothing to do with body transformation it was literally to try and get me through the day i joined what's called a crossfit box at first i remember driving up to the crossfit box waiting outside and being in floods of tears but because it was so damn hard all i could do was think about the exercise while i was at the class but as soon as i finished i just felt really really low again i started off doing a couple of times a week then built up to three times a week and actually started to build my confidence i was able to do a pistol squat box jumps i could deadlift 100 kilos which i think is about 220 pounds i could squat you know i couldn't lift as heavy as some of the other beasts that were there but i was definitely sort of giving a try through 2015 but then what I started to find as I was picking up injuries and I was attending sports massages quite often, which I'd been doing before I joined CrossFit, but he'd noticed that I was really kind of developing some injuries around my back, around my lower body that just wasn't able to overcome. And so he said to me, Melissa, he said, you need to drop CrossFit. Oh, I was absolutely devastated because any of you that do any kind of group exercise, you kind of understand it's not just a place you exercise, is it? It's your social. It was giving me something, giving me something to look forward to. So anyway, 2017, I joined a gym and started to go down the bodybuilding route. Now, with that, what had actually happened in my mid 30s is I'd done a lot of strength training before and actually hired myself a competitive bodybuilder who taught me how to strength train so I actually knew when I got to the gym what I was doing and I did hire a personal trainers that were males but what I found is I was really starting to get interested in my physical appearance, what I looked like, and I wasn't quite where I wanted to be. I had an exact idea in my mind. I kind of wanted to be like the fitness models in the magazines. And, you know, I looked to people like Ernestine Shepherd, who I've now had the pleasure of meeting in real life. I looked at her and I thought, well, she can succeed. 
and she's like way older than me something is going wrong and that's when I started to learn that like incorporating too much cardio and actually not having the right nutrition in place is going to hamper your progress when it comes to strength training but what I did notice is I was actually starting to get in shape but just not the shape that I wanted to be I was starting to lose body fat but not in the right places it was still kind of sitting around my midsection but you know what I was still starting to feel better in myself and depression was really getting better because I was carving out a new life for myself. In 2017, I actually attended a music event in Croatia and met my life partner can you believe and so that was when we met we didn't actually start a relationship straight away in July 2017 but shortly after in October 2017 we started to see each other just as friends and then it built from there that gradually kind of boosted my confidence but I just still had this burning desire that I wanted to get this muscular fit body and so in 2018 I actually decided to hire myself a competition prep coach because I kind of had a string of personal trainers and I couldn't see the body that I want and of course now I know personal trainers are there to actually help you with the exercise and they don't necessarily although some do help you with nutrition and of course that was the key part of it that I was really trying but not getting enough protein in, not succeeding in the shape that I wanted. So I decided to hire myself a competition prep coach because I wanted to hit the stage in 2019. And so December 2018, I started working with someone and well, it, I really regretted it, to be quite honest with you, because she was absolutely useless. What she would do would be constantly message me about getting me to buy other products from her like t-shirts and eventually she tried to get me to buy performance enhancing drugs and I just wasn't up for that I didn't want to go down that route I always knew right from the get-go that I wanted to be a natural athlete so I got rid of her in March 2019 and actually just put aside all that idea of actually going into competitions into bodybuilding competition because my impression was well it's only for people that take drugs which is absolutely not true because there are natural shows and there are plenty of people who are natural at other shows as I discovered later on and so what I did was really focus in getting on the physique that I really wanted to achieve by myself. And I was actually starting to make inroads, even though my nutrition still hadn't properly been dialed in. You can see from these pictures, I was actually starting to get somewhere. And then what happened is I went to actually see a lady in the gym was going to be competing in a bodybuilding show. And I thought, well, I'm going to go and watch her. And I got completely inspired and thought, right, this is it, I'm gonna go down that route, but this time I'm gonna hire myself a decent coach. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to speak to three people and then I'm actually gonna to speak to some of their clients. And I was looking for somebody that actually works with women my age who knew what she was doing. And thank goodness I actually found someone called Tracy. I've made a video about her years ago and she took me to stage to my first competition and it was absolutely amazing so in September 2019 I actually achieved after all those years the body of my dreams but kind of around that time I also started my YouTube channel and a blog which wasn't quite so successful to start to educate women like me on how they could successfully transform their body I wanted a really honest channel and that's what I I feel that I've developed something that you can watch and actually get the right information. I'm not trying to push certain supplements. I don't have any sponsorships on my channel. It's all about giving people truthful, good quality information for women over 40 that actually helps you reach your goal. So 
that's my story. I know lots of you love to comment about your story, so do let me know in the comments section if you've had a bit of a triumph over adversity. I guess the ultimate thing for me is now I am managing to make a full-time living out of fitness from going broke, which that is absolutely incredible. And it's like a dream come true to be working in the thing that I actually love and have a complete passion about because I love helping women reach their goal. And I know when I see lots of your comments and you kind of say, oh, I've actually started following what you say, Melissa, and it's working for me or maybe you've joined one of my programs and it's working for you that's when I feel absolutely bowled over and really get a sense of complete satisfaction to know that I've just at least helped one person keeps me driving forward that's the thing that's ultimately helped me beat my depression 